Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. It is a used canvas. I've put a, a base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down. And all my paints today I mixed myself. I just, uh, they're a combination of many colors and I really don't have any brands or anything to tell you about, just homemade paints. And I can tell you that my pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I added a squirt of GAC 800 and about a teaspoon of Liquitex Gloss Medium to all my paints. And I did water my paints down a little bit because this is actually a practice for a, a big commission coming up for me. What I'm going to do is something a little different for me is I'm going to swipe the bottom and then I'm going to blow out the top. So a little bit different, and I just wanted to give it a practice run uh, because my commission piece is a very large canvas. So let's get started. I'm just gonna lay down the paints and take it from there. This is a navy color that I made up. I know I started with a dark blue and then I added a deep green and a little bit of black to it to um, make it very, very dark navy. And this color I know I made up by adding several different colors together. What I did was I made a base paint for the commission and I, I wanted to get a beige and I added the wrong color to the white to get the beige. It turned out more pink, so I had all this pink, pinkish, light pinkish paint left and um, that I felt I needed to use up. So what I did is I used that for a base for all these colors I'm using today. And that is a good way to use up a paint that you made a mistake on. Just use it as your base and then add your colors to it. This is another blue, almost like a robin's egg blue that I, that I made up. It's a pretty blue. Hope you're all doing well today. Kind of fun when you have a practice day with paint. Not too worried about the outcome, just uh, it's a real learning experience. This is a little bit brighter, almost like an aqua. I did not put silicone in my paints. I'm not really looking for cells, although, as you know, when you do use Floetrol, you can get some cells. And this color is like a peach color here. That is a color I usually do not use. Thought I'd give it a try here. And then I have a very light, like a canary yellow here. And an off-white. And this off-white is also going to be my swipe color, I decided. I'm going to give it a try with that. If I don't like the results, I may switch it up and go for a darker color. Again, that's part of what's so fun about experimenting. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm just going to repeat my colors again. And I'm sorry it's quiet. I'm just concentrating here, just laying these paints down. Feel free to leave a comment if there's uh, something you'd like to see me do. A certain process or a certain type painting. Always open to suggestions. Or if you have any questions on this painting I'm doing today, please leave it in the comments. I will get back to you. And I'd like to take the time to thank all of my subscribers and my watchers. If you are a watcher but not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It's free. Doesn't cost you a penny. And then when you subscribe, and if you push that, the bell, push all or choose all, you'll be notified when I do post a new video. I try to post videos at least two to three times a week. I don't have a set schedule though, just when I do find the time. Okay, and it looks like I can start again. Just finish up down here. I really do love this deep navy. And I think I will just put the navy right down here at the bottom too. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take my beige and I'm going to just lay it through here. And what I'm going to do is just swipe the bottom first and then I will blow out the top. What I'm using for swiping today is dampened paper towels. So you just want to lay it right on that swipe color. And I just let it glide right over the top. Not pressing it at all. And I do let it fall down to cover the edge there. And sometimes I do even take it and I cover my edge on the ends there. Okay, we'll do that again. Just 
letting it glide. And I will cover this end. Okay. And we'll get this down here at this end. And these are not, these are not the colors of the commission, by the way. But I just decided to do this little practice canvas here. Okay, I'm going to give this a torch. And I am getting cells coming up. See that right now? Just real small ones. going to do is I'm going to lay a little bit more of this navy here and here. Okay, and now I'm going to start to blow out that top paint. And what I'm going to use is the world's smallest leaf blower, which I did get on Amazon, by the way. But let's just see what we can do here. You can see I'm trying to start actually on the beige just to make it mix well with the bottom. I just find I have a little bit better control with this little blower than I do with my big hair dryer. Okay, now I'm going to give that a torch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to let the top run into the bottom just to see what we can get with that. And hopefully I have enough paint that that will happen. And while that's happening, I'm just going to work on the edge here a little bit. paint is moving just a little bit slow but this is the effect that I wanted to get pretty happy with that Okay, I'm just going to turn it around here again and take a look at it. 
And I'm really liking that. I think I'm going to let it just run a little bit more down there. This is definitely the effect that I want to get for that commission piece. Okay, and now I'll bring it back again. And I'm just going to uh, clean off the edges here a little bit. And I will work with the sides off camera. Checking my corners here. Yes, I'm very, very happy with this. Okay, I think I will give it one more torch. What you, what you can do too, while I, before I finish is, if you want more lines, you can always just draw them down a little bit. Just to give it a little bit different effect. Okay, now I'm going to give it a torch. Get rid, get, get the rest of the air bubbles up here. I'm just going to take my skewer and just cover a few areas here that I see that there's no paint. Position wise, I would want it to go like this. This being the top, that being the bottom. But let me get you down for a close up. Okay, let's get you down for that close up. This is the upper left hand corner. Just going down the left hand side. I really like how the yellow stayed so bright along with the peach. That's pretty. It's a good combination with that blues and the greens there. It's turquoise. And this is the lower left hand corner. I'll take you up the middle here. I did get cells. They're very small. Very pretty in here. Really like how the paint ran down like that. That's very pretty. Here's where I extended a few of those lines with the skewer. And I will take you up the right hand side. This is the lower right corner. And this is just going up the right side to the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you'll be notified the next time that I do post a new video. Consider subscribing, that would be great. Thank you for watching everybody and until next time, take care. Bye for now.